Online advocacy is easy, right? It doesn't require uh, getting out into the street necessarily with a poster. Some people call that slacktivism. They say it, it's too easy. We at change.org say that the purpose of social change isn't to be hard, it's to be effective. About four or five months ago, change.org launched a new part of our platform called change.org for decision makers. So if you're an elected official or if you're a corporate leader, you now have the ability to go onto change.org and see all of the petitions that are directed at you in one central place and have the ability to respond publicly and transparently to those petitions. With a platform like change.org with 60 million users, we now have the largest ever group of civically engaged people in the history of the world in one centralized place. And we're saying, all right, elected officials, now it's your turn. Come join us on this platform. Come listen to what people are saying here and respond to them here, because uh, that's where you're going to get the most honest indication of what your constituents care about. Um, if each person who wants to see a change happen in government is sending a private email to their elected official, um, or maybe going to that member of Congress's office, um, you don't walk away with a big picture of how many people are all engaging on that same issue, right? But when you have 100 people or 1,000 people or 10,000 people all joining the same campaign uh, in one central location, it's impossible to ignore that this is an issue that matters to people. We believe and we've seen that bringing uh, constituent engagement, citizen engagement into the public eye, making it transparent, making it direct, really does lead to more accountability with government officials. At change.org, we have a broader conception of civic, of civic engagement, which is taking action on issues that affect you. Uh, so we've tried to uh, build change.org into a very personalized platform where you encounter campaigns that are likely to resonate with you. And sometimes those are campaigns uh, that resonate with you because they're here in the city where you live, but sometimes they resonate with you because they're on issues that matter to you, even if they're you know, affecting people across the world. And we see one of the central problems in the US and around the world as being a disconnect between ordinary people and the governments and the corporations that are making decisions that are impacting their lives. And if we can use technology, if we can use machine learning and data analysis um, and innovations in email and text messaging, if we can leverage all of that to help bridge that gap and foster meaningful conversations between people and decision makers, then uh, I think we'll, we'll see a lot of disruption in the world and, and really a, a, an improvement in democracy.